Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do your October the 24th spiritual principle a day in a meditation. Hope you're doing well this morning. It's 5.45 a.m. where I am, so I'm rushing. The title of today's meditation, though, is Conscience and Step 10. We need to stay in tune with the voice of our conscience and listen to what it's telling us. When we get a naggy feeling that something isn't quite right, we should pay attention to it. That comes from It Works, Step 10. Thanks to the NA program, our days of justifying our own bad behavior are mostly behind us. Sure, we still make mistakes, sometimes big ones, but we're quicker to clean up our messes. Instead of doubling down or making excuses when we lash out or self-destruct, we let our missteps remind us that we remain acutely human and in need of regular spiritual maintenance. That's the thing about being in recovery, in it, a member shared. I'm aware of myself and the world around me. When I screw up, I can't pretend that everything's hunky-dory, though sometimes I still try. A short memory can seem like an appealing proxy for a clear conscience. It's not. Too often, this leads us to reach for new distractions to help us forget. Fortunately, though it may sometimes seem otherwise, we can't unknow what we know about ourselves. We recognize our part in all of our difficulties and can spot our shortcomings even as they appear in new disguises. Try as we might to shut down and soldier on, we've developed a conscience. Instead of waiting for a three o'clock a.m. wake up call from our conscience, step 10 offers us a way to stay clear and current. We get into and sometimes get back to the habit of regular reflection, taking the time to stay in tune with the internal gauge of our conscience. We examine our behavior with empathy, asking ourselves, have I treated others as I would like to be treated? We tell ourselves the truth, taking note of when we've responded admirably and where we need to work out a better approach for next time. Cultivating a conscience is a byproduct of this practice and living a conscious guided life is worth the effort. I will live according to my conscience today, taking time to develop it further as I reflect on my mistakes and enjoy the good that comes from living by my values. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference just for today. Please and thank you. Conscience and step 10. I like the way it puts it here that step 10 offers us a way to deal with the missteps in the here and now. And we don't have to have something wake us up in the midnight hour, right? Wake us up at three in the morning, disturbing us, uh, going back over, repeating in our brains, recreating risks situations that there might be resentments from what I should have said, what I could have done the next time I'll do this. Are they angry with me? All of that stuff that comes with messiness, right? Missteps. And the beautiful part of, of it is, is that once you start to clean up your spirit on the inside, you start to not only talk about recovery, but to live it and to feel it from the inside out. And every day is not going to be a perfect day, right? Every day is not going to be a great day. But in general, once you start to live this thing, you will know 
almost immediately when there's been a misstep, when there's something that's not quite right, when something is prickling you or your conscience or bothering you, in other words, you'll know almost immediately, I should not have done that or I should not have said that. When you get a feeling inside, on the inside, that something isn't quite right, today we can pay attention to it and we can allow that conscience to work for us ahead of the misstep. And that's where it takes practice for me to listen and not get caught up in the moment. Listen and not get caught up in the moment and act in a way that is in accord with my conscience before the misstep. Because after the misstep, my conscience is also going to be speaking, right? But the human side of me, the flesh part of me might say, eh, just deal with it, you know, let it, let it blow over. And it might actually just blow over, but a lot of times my conscience won't let it go right? You need to make amends for that. You need to acknowledge that you didn't handle that properly. You talk so much about integrity. You need to be integral in this situation. You need to double back, go back to them and try to make that right. Now offer a lot of excuses, but you need to try and make that right. Because generally speaking, the exact nature of it is pride right? The thing underneath it, the character de defect underneath it is pride, right? Trying to protect myself from, you know, embarrassment or someone trying to make me look bad, right? Especially if they have a tendency to always be in my face about something. I'll get to the point where I'm very intolerant and I will cut them off before they can even get two words out, especially if they have a tendency to always be in my face about something, right? I can become defensive. And in that defensiveness, if I'm not listening to my conscience before it jumps off, I will find myself after the fact having to go back and apologize for the way that I came off, right? It's not a good feeling, but it still is a part of our conscience being at work and you can learn from that, right? So what I'm learning to do is to allow a person to finish all that they think that they want to say because they could be having a bad day as well, right? And then respond in a manner that allows me the freedom of not having to put them on my step 10 for that day. Yeah, so I want that for you. Um, so why don't you go through your day to day thinking about when your conscience is speaking to you and when it's not and how are you responding to it when it is speaking to you, right? And then from that information that you gather, move on forward and make the adjustments in a positive way that you need to. My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you. I hope that you have a beautiful day on purpose.